Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video is part 3 of what if Naruto was Superman. Roll the intro. Okay, so, <clears throat> we last left off with, you know, the start of the Trinity sales. So, you know, the only people, there's actually, you know, let's get into the um, people who are at the Trinity sales, or the participants that are there. The only person who's really not there is Naruto. Sasuke says, hmm, wonder what's taking the case along. Sasuke's, Sasuke's thinking the same thing. He says, I want to see what power he is. What's, and what's taking him so long? The power that is. So, you know, this is when Hayate will notice the third Okage is calling it with the type of hand sign. As Hayate would appear, he says, go ahead and start the match with Naruto. Um, he'll be making a special appearance. <clears throat> As usual, I mean, Hayate would nod, because he didn't, well, uh, he, no, no, it's not Hayate, it's Gemma. Gemma would nod. And we'll go down. As he will basically explain the training exams, the same as the preliminaries. As, you know, everyone, he would say, alright, everyone but Naruto, Uzumaki, and Neji, how you could go to the stands? As he says, today is the day. So Jirai is already in the, is inside of Konoha. Naruto is at his apartment now, listening for the training exams. As he just stands up and says, Today, people, we are coming here to witness greatness. The greatness of a new bloodline that has been recently awakened in one of our Guinea. I'm wondering what it is. You know, a lot of people be asking what it is. He was going to say, and who the Guinea is, obviously. He says, Naruto Uzumaki. Is everyone thinking the demon has gotten too strong and are ready to, you know, try to, um, after the thing, try to find him and kill him? Using basically explains that Kryptonians are an alien race that have extraordinary power that make them God amongst men. They're vulnerable. Well, you know, he would basically say that Naruto basically has a new big bloodline. I don't want him to go into Naruto's abilities until we get to the council meeting. <clears throat> so, basically, yeah. So, Naruto, you know, he was using to say Naruto has awakened a new bloodline. And we basically tell them that just wait and see. You will see the um, greatness of this the blood. This you will see the greatness that this bloodline can bring to Konoha. Naruto says, "Are you ready?" He says, "Go ahead and go to the. <clears throat> go ahead and go to the, to the stadium. I'm making my grand entrance." As Kara was speeding to the stadium, you know she would go. She would. I'm Jiraiya. As Jiraiya introduces her to Kakashi and everything. As everybody hears something swooshing, as they all look up and see Naruto. Just standing there wearing a suit with a red S. I mean with an S symbol on it. A blue suit with the S symbol. And a cape. As Naruto is f flying around. As Naruto lands on the ground gently. As he walks up to Ninji. And says... We're gonna pull an Escanor move. Weak. Oh my god! Anyways, so Naruto will tell Neji that he's weak and have and stands no chance of beating him. And he says, "Yeah, yeah, right." Neji would immediately activate his Byakugan because he does not like being called weak. Mostly, how you guys, you know, except Hinata activated their Byakugan because Naruto literally just called them weak. Go call um call their prodigy weak, you know they don't really like that. <clears throat> the party was saying, "All right, everyone, match begin." Now in the crowd, everyone is wondering why was Naruto flying. As Naruto said, <clears throat> "As you know, Kakashi, uh, Sakura asked Kakashi, did you know about this?'" 
Because she says Sakura, you know too. Sakura then gets her memories back. She says, so he's finally showed them. So she says, you knew? Because she says, she did, but I put a block on that memory so she wouldn't be able to tell you, to be honest, Sasuke. Why not? I'm Naruto's teammate. Why not? I'm Naruto's teammate. I deserve to know this. No. <clears throat> it was an order on the third Hokage. She was not allowed to tell you at all. Sasuke said, damn old man. <clears throat> so, you know, Naruto said, all right, Neji, let's get straight to the fight. And as Neji would say, you have a lot of openings. So Neji would um, run up to Naruto and says, you're in my field of divination. As Neji would get into his eight trigrams, and he, um, 64 palm style, or 8 trigram style. And we use the 64 palms. With his Byakugan at the, You know, he's hitting Naruto, but, you know, he's feeling pain every time he hits Naruto. But, you know, just think that it's a jutsu that Naruto's using, but that it'll eventually go away. After Neji um, uses all 64 palms on the areas where the chakra, the chakra points would be, Neji says, hmm. Yeah. I found you're done, Uzumaki. Not to watch that says, I don't even know what you're talking about, but that tickled. Neji looks as, as he his eyes begin to widen. Not to say, share with the crowd what just happened, Neji. I hit all his chakra points, but they refuse to close. It's like I can't penetrate them. As you know, everybody will be shocked. Because a Hayuga who can't penetrate chakra points, that's something that something that can be penetrated by a Hayuga. Chakra points especially is rare. It says, yeah. Nanta says, now, Ninja, you seem really proud of your hands. And you hurt Tinata with them. Naruto flies up into the sky. Nanta says, you know, I think I won't show you any mercy. Because Naruto's basically going to use his um, enhanced lung capacity. To blow out a stream of wind to blow Neji back and knock him out. Naruto will land on the ground. She will grab Neji and jump up, fly up. And we basically have a Zabuza moment, except Naruto can actually fly. As Naruto is just willing to go Neji in the sky while Neji is falling down. As Naruto hits her one last time, as everyone sees this punch, as Naruto makes a crater. Much bigger crater than what Tsunade could ever create. Well, could create when they saw her. Fight. As Naruto stands Neji up, Naruto backs away. He says, Come on, Neji. I wouldn't want to block this. Neji says, I just can't let him hit me. As Neji would put his arms into an X formation, so, you know, block it. As Naruto uses C vision, it would cut Neji's um, hands off. You know, Kara would be a little bit weirded out by this because, you know, she, in her own earth, they don't harm people, but. You know, it's kind of, you know, she feels that this, she knows that in this world, it's hurting people, it's kind of necessary for the life Naruto lives. So, you know, she'll get over it eventually. As Neji says, I get, as Naruto punches Neji, before Neji can say give up. As Naruto says, I'm not going to let you give up now, Neji. It's Naruto beating Neji. It's Naruto grabs Neji's leg and basically uses, um, we've all seen a scene of the Hulk and Loki. He basically hits him on the ground repeatedly. So Naruto takes back to the sky. As Naruto says goodbye and have fun being unconscious. Naruto will throw Neji as hard as he can as he would then <clears throat> with all his strength he will use he will punch the air, sending a <clears throat> basically a wind strike. Hitting Neji really hard though. So it'll be like um, a train hitting the Neji. Not Superman, but a train. Or not Naruto, but a train. Yes, Neji will hit the ground unconscious. Naruto's going to collect the winner. You know, Sasuke. So, you know, Sasuke, you know, he's mad because Naruto shouldn't have power like this. He should. And he will get this power from Naruto, whether Naruto wants to or not. <clears throat> so, when the uh, match is over, it'll be Gar versus Sasuke. 
And since Sigamaru vs. Tamari didn't happen, you know, they're still fresh. So, but, um, you know how in our Sasuke vs. Gong went. So that would happen. When the barrier would be erupted and explosions and feathers would come down. Naruto will use, um, um using, um, well, Kryptonian Mind will be able to combat this Genjutsu. <clears throat> to combat this Genjutsu and will, um, basically tell, um, go to Kara and tell her that she needs to go save the citizens. As Kara, you know, would have her suit on, uh, take her suit, put her suit on, or change clothes into her suit. Is everyone in shot? They say, there's another one? It says, yes, there's another one. As Naruto flies out towards Gara. But Naruto says, now, nah, I see Gar, Gar, uh, beat you just like I do. It's time, let's see how strong it is compared to me. Naruto is basically, if Kryptonian is at Chakra, Naruto will be a Kage level Chakra. A uh, Kage level Kryptonian. And Kryptonian, we didn't say Kryptonian's Kage is like as strong as, what, the Tentails? Just to give them a boost. A major boost. So, yeah. As Naruto says, this is going to be real easy. As Naruto knocks out Neji, I mean not Neji, Kankuro and Tamari. As Naruto, um, <clears throat> Sakura is there with Naruto. As, you know, Sakura is asking Naruto why is he letting Sasuke get beat on by Gara. As Naruto says, I want to see Gara at his strongest and then beat him and show him that there is always someone stronger than him. As you know, Gara finally has Sasuke knocked out. Oh, um, Sasuke pinned to the wall. Naruto breaks the sand. And Sasuke releases. Naruto says, I got this. It's Naruto tells Gara to go full form Biju. Which Gara does immediately. As Naruto says, hmm. Everybody's just looking at this Biju in the um, Hidden Leaf Village. Because it's not outside, it's actually inside now, still. <clears throat> As Naruto says, this will be easy. As Naruto's eyes will glow red, Mr. BG says, I think I'll kill you first. As mm, Shukaku would charge up a BG bomb, as Naruto would swat it away, as his eyes would glow red, as a large, widespread beam would shoot at Shukaku, find the monster, killing Gara, actually. Because Gara was basically. Cremated. I don't really know another word. He was cremated. As you know, everyone just sees chakra falling up into the sky to be reformed somewhere else. <clears throat> As this is Shikaku's death. I mean, God's death. And Shikaku's was released. As Naruto takes, um, goes up to the other Sand siblings. Says, You two will be in jail for now. It's not until get hands them to Sasuke and Sakura. But before he leaves, he would knock them both out. Well, not Tamari out, because Tamari's the one with Sakura. Because, you know, Tamari's stronger than Sakura, and he wouldn't want, you know, Sakura to have any problems with this. <clears throat> Anyways, Naruto would go on to see the old man fighting. I'm going to see the old man fighting Orochimaru. Which Naruto will say no. As Naruto will punch the barrier as hard as he can. He didn't, is it barely dented it? Well, it didn't, it cracked it. As Naruto will say, Kara! As Kara is taking care of most of, as, taking care of, along with the help of Jiraiya, all of this, um, attack at Shinobis. As Jiraiya appears with Kara, Naruto says, I need help. As Jiraiya says, oh, kid, I can probably help too. As Jiraiya sits down for a couple of minutes, as they watch Orochimaru reanimate the first and second Okage, and then he was just stuck with third casket. <clears throat> so, this is when Naruto would, um, well, actually, no, we're gonna have we'll time skip five minutes. So Jiraiya will finally be ready as the toes on him are on his um, shoulders as he's in stage mode. It's just on three. One, as both Kryptonians bring their arms back along with Jiraiya. Two, three, as they punch the barrier, shattering it completely. But Naruto, uh, Kara, would, uh, Naruto would be the only one going, actually. She would tell Kara to go, stay back. I don't want Kara in there. 
as the barrier will be put back up immediately before anyone can do anything else. So Nanto will be trapped in there with Hirsa. Nanto says, sorry though, man. You need help? Says, I think so, Nanto, but I don't know if you can take them. And says, I think I can. As Nanto's eyes would go red, as he would immediately aim at Orochimaru, basically cremating Orochimaru, killing him on the spot. <clears throat> but we all know how Orochimaru is. He won't die. Not right now. You know, the, um, Sound 4 seeing that this failed would immediately, you know, keep the barrier because they can't see that the plan is still to kill Hiruzen. And they won't disobey Orochimaru's orders, even if he's dead. So, they will keep the barrier up. Snorcha says, sorry, but you two are going to have to go. As, um, <clears throat> as Hashirama and Tobirama use a jutsu. Tobirama uses the water dragon jutsu and Hashirama basically uses a wood style. That, that, um, when, when he touches someone, wood basically comes out of their body. Because he leaks some, um, no, um, he basically shoots wood pillars through someone. So Naruto, um, was standing there. So they would both hit them with his jutsu. Tobirama would hit first. As Naruto would then see Hashirama. Hashirama's jutsu is coming. As Naruto will dodge it, will grab it, and will break the wood. As Naruto, with as much power as he can, will hit both, will hit Toby Rama first, hitting him through the barrier, then Hashirama up into the sky. As Naruto will then focus his aim on Hashirama, as he would um, basically um, eradicate Orochi, um, not eradicate Orochi Maru, eradicate Hashirama, and would then look at um, Toby Rama. As he will hit, um, then uses freeze breath on Tobirama, and then will break the ice, killing Orochimaru, you know, with, you know, logic like that, that type of logic. <clears throat> and then does not allow Tobirama to be reformed, as their, um, souls go back to the pure world, or, um, go back to wherever it came from. The sound force see that the barrier has failed. I mean, the, the plan has failed. Them and Kabuto will all leave. As Kabuto knows that some, the Orochimaru will reincarnate into someone with the mark. <clears throat> as you know, they get out of the building before anyone can do this. Anything. And it's not until Toe Card to just let them go. That they have no master no more. So, this should, we should be good for now. <clears throat> Which is why... We're going to have a time skip of four days later. After the village is, you know, back up and war running. Well, nothing really. There was really no damage except from the inside from the shinobi that were already in. Naruto and then Naruto would be in the council room with the Sasuke and along with Kara, um, Kara being there. <clears throat> As Naruto basically has to explain that he's a Kryptonian. And that they have extraordinary powers, like they're, like they're invulnerable to everything except magic, which no one on Naruto's world can do. They're in, um, <clears throat> they can, they basically have heat vision where they can shoot lasers that can you know, heat up things or basically eradicate people with the light of blast and can kill villages, even Kage's. They have immense super strength that can lift up planets. Did not say planets? Just, just give. He can move if trained enough. He can move at the speed of light, which uh, Superman can do. He can do apparently. I read it somewhere on Google. Never trust Google, but we're gonna trust them this time. Anyway, <clears throat> their strength and speed is unparalleled. They can also fly at um, light speeds too. The speed of light, too. He has an enhanced lug capacity, which allows him to either freeze or just shoot with, um, strong pressurized winds. He has super hearing, x-ray vision. And, um... And he only has one weakness, which he would not, and he says he would not be disclosing this with anyone. So, <clears throat> you know, the council would immediately go into an uproar about not knowing this weakness because they need to just in case Naruto goes rogue. To which Naruto says, 
The only person who will ever know and will ever have it is the old Kanye. Well, no, he, we want to keep this to ourselves. Not someone keep telling them. We don't have to keep this to ourselves, actually. As you know, after um, basically after Naruto's explanation, everyone will you know got into an uproar about knowing Naruto's weakness. But then Donzo would speak up. Well, Naruto, if you are what you say, your DNA is changed. We are provoking you from having your inheritance to whatever your parents left. Hiruzen says, <clears throat> I think not. As everyone turns to Hiruzen, Naruto's parents in their last moments told me that something, a crystal had landed into Naruto and had sealed itself inside of Naruto when he was, uh, bef before, you know, the fourth Hokage sealed it inside of Naruto, sealed the nine tails inside of Naruto. And that. No matter what ha changes happen to Naruto from this crystal, Naruto will get everything, no matter what happens. So Naruto will not be losing any inheritance. Dozo says, damn you, Minato. I mean, he, he thinks this. He thinks, damn you, Minato. Dozo says, well, Naruto, you do know that you are, since this is a bloodline, you have to be put under the CRA. Along with that girl. Well, she will have to find a male suitor. Naruto says, yeah, I know. And I think not. Sasuke says, I'll take her. Naruto says, looks at Sasuke and says, what did you say? He said, I'll take her. Together we can build a stronger Uchiha clan. He said, no, everyone nodded. And they said, yes, we order you to marry Sasuke and sire a child. As Naruto immediately is pissed. Because, you know, Kara's kind of like his girlfriend. They're, you know, not they're not that yet, there yet. You know, Kara um, begins to, you know, float a little bit. And her eyes go red. Along with Naruto just going red. As Naruto says, Sasuke, I keep... it be honest with you, I'd be wise about what you say. Because there's no way she will ever be with you. Or with any of you leaf scum. Or of the scum of the leaf. Kara will choose who she wants, and that will be that. And I will choose who I want to be with, and that will be that. I will take on as many wives as I want. Only if it doesn't hurt any of the other women I'm in relationships with. If it does, then I'm no longer in the CRA, and there's nothing that you guys can do to me. You could try to kill me, but I'm invulnerable. And kind of... You know, have a very high tolerance towards the Genjutsu. So, not even sure God's Genjutsu will work on me. If Donzo's thinking, damn it, I can't use Koto Matsukami. But that's not true. He could use Koto Matsukami, but Naruto will be able to break it easily. Well, he'll be able to break it within five minutes before Donzo, before Naruto can carry out any plans for Donzo. <clears throat> Excuse me, as well. This went well. And everyone will look at Hirzen. The Severians Council says, Hirzen, he cannot do this. Hirzen says, well, uh, it's <clears throat> me and Naruto have talked already. Two days ago, Naruto will be establishing a new clan. The Kryptonian clan inside of Konoha. The L clan. <clears throat> basically, the, there'll be the new house of L, basically. And whoever not and I have already signed off that whoever Naruto wants to marry, because Naruto me and Naruto already spoke about the CRA. Whoever Naruto wants to marry, Naruto can. And it's not in our business to interfere in clan in clan business. And whoever wants to marry Kara will have to send something to Naruto. Because Naruto is the clan head. Even though he may be younger than Kara, he's been here in Konoha more than Kara has. What do you mean in Konoha? Well, I've been in the land of lightning for the past 12 years. You see, when I came here, I watched the crystal go inside of Naruto. But I wasn't there to watch the crystal go inside of Naruto. So, you know, I, you know, I stayed in the land of lightning because something just drew me there. I didn't really know what. But I went to the land of lightning until I heard the pulsating from the Fortress of Solitude. So fortress, what is this fortress? And I'm supposed to say the fortress of solitude is basically my base of operations. It has all Kryptonian knowledge. 
and one with Kryptonian technology there. Way more advanced. Probably 20,000 years more advanced than ours. Maybe millions of years more advanced than ours. Donzo says, Naruto, you will have to bring hand that tech over. Naruto says, would you really make me? He really says, well, Naruto, you really don't have to. As Donzo says, here's it. You cannot. Quiet, Donzo. You guys are only <clears throat> here to advise me. And this is a shinobi business. I'm pretty sure none of the clan heads will want Naruto to, you know, leave. Especially if he's bringing a strong, uh, the poss actually the strongest bloodline ever to Kona, in the world to Kona. What do you mean, ever? Well, Sasuke, Naruto is basically explaining that he can technically be like a walking Sharingan. Because of a special ability he has, well, super speed, and x-ray vision, he can see how chakra is molded and can copy hand signs. So, basically, it, and can copy it to exact, exactly to what the Jutsu people are doing. So, basically a living Sharingan, a walking Sharingan. As you know, this got everyone's attention. Not to, as Naruto says now, if anyone decides to try to wear the darts to me, you will talk to my advisor. You will bring it to me, and I will talk uh, talk it over with my advisor. I will see you guys later. As Naruto and Kara fly through the roof, Jiraiya so says, "That's my apprentice for you." As Dazo says, "Jiraiya." The other councils look at Jiraiya. He says. <clears throat> Naruto is too strong. Sasuke is not. And as the last royal Uchiha to Konoha, you have to drop Naruto as a student and take on Sasuke. Jirai says, "Yeah, I don't think I will." Try this is an it. This is an order from from your village. Yeah, it may be an order, but I don't want don't want to. You can't really make me, can you? Jirai, do you know what you're doing? Yes, I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Everything I know will be going to the... I will be now joining the Kryptonian clan through a blood ritual. It, won't make, it will make me half Kryptonian. So I won't be as strong as Naruto or his um or his friend, Kara. But I will be joining through this blood ritual. In a place far, far away from... from <clears throat> From the elemental nations. For what I, from what Naruto told me, it took him at least five hours to get there, running at what is it? The speed of sound, five hours. No, I'm gonna have him go much faster. Um, I don't know what's um, almost as no, the speed of light. Naruto will be moving much faster. Um, uh, say Mach three. I don't really know what that's really a thing, but yeah. Scratch that. We're going to have Naruto go with Mach 5, which is approximately 3,836.346 miles per hour. As you know, this will shock everyone. As they're like, damn it. You know, Donzo and them are thinking this. As Rai says, Every, all of my techniques will be a part of the Kryptonian's clan. Uh, part of Naruto's Kryptonian clan. <clears throat> and the clan household will be in, outside of Konoha. What? Yes, it will be out of Konoha, but, we, but Konoha's land will be, well, Konoha will be able to, how do we say this, communicate with us all the way out there. So we'll be able to get there pretty fast. Arto says that he wasn't even running at his, nowhere near his full speed, so... You know, hopefully I can get re um, reached there too. But damn you, Jiraiya. Donzo's thinking. So, says, so what's so special about Naruto? Why does Naruto get all this power and I get nothing? As whispers of Orochimaru is inside of Naruto's, um, Sasuke's head. As Sasuke's, so Orochimaru is basically already, you know, redone itself into a new body. Um, gotten this, um, you know, took over a new body. Damn you, Naruto. Sasuke goes home and packs. He's about to, um, well, 
Well, I was thinking, goes over to think of things. As Gerard goes off to find knowledge of. And says, what do you need, Gerard? Gerard says, all right, Naruto. We're going to find the fifth Okage. The fifth, huh? Yeah. Hiruzen gave me a mission. He says he's getting too old to be Okage. And you're too young to become it. Oh, so I was a candidate. Most definitely. You were the top candidate. Even above me. From your strength that he was just off. Oh, wow. I'm really, I'm really happy. Oh, man. That means I wasn't chosen. Dry says, just don't worry, kid. You'll become Okali eventually. Says, I guess so. Says, no, no, too. <clears throat> we'll be leaving in the next couple of days. Pack your things and get ready. Ninja says, I'm dry. He says, yes, you know, I don't really... It doesn't really take me that long. It doesn't matter. Okay, I don't care. And tell your lady friend that she can come to. Ninja says, yeah. So, during those two days, Naruto and Kara have gotten together. And Naruto has taken Kara on as her as his first official wife. And Kara has obviously agreed to let Naruto bring back Kryptonians Kri um, back on Earth. And their children will be the only four Kryptonians. As we, this is where we're actually going to end off the what if because the things that have, yeah, I don't really know. We're going to end off the what if here, guys. I really wish you guys a good day. Good luck. Peace and goodbye.